Hey, good morning, everybody. Crypto Mentor 99. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? It is February 22nd, 2023. They had to make it Wednesday. Coming to you from the sauna in the bunker. That means my basement. Uh, from the sauna in the bunker. We've got 116 degrees. So, as many of you know, I do a lot of reading. That's because I'm an old guy. And I do, I'm not a financial advisor, nor do I play one on YouTube. But I think I should have been. I think my life should have been about people's finances and helping them with their finances. Anyhow, this YouTube video is going to have to do it. So I read an article about, and I hope I remember most of it, but it's about money habits that are keeping you poor. Money habits that keep you poor. So the first one, and I've heard this before over my last 65 years. The first one is, again, these are money habits keeping you poor. Number one, when you pay yourself last. Now, what does that mean? Well, paying yourself last means when you get your paycheck, you pay your bills, you pay your rent, you pay your mortgage, and then if if there's a little left over, then you pay yourself. Okay? Newsflash. I don't want to say successful people, and I don't want to say wealthy people, but I'll just say wealthy people. Wealthy people don't do that. Wealthy people pay themselves first. They reward themselves first and then pay the bills. Again, I'm simplifying this. Number two, and I've heard this for 65 years, do not get comfortable with debt. When you get comfortable with debt, that will keep you poor. Debt, credit cards, again, if you're going to college, that's different. If you have a mortgage, that's different. But 99% of debt is bad. So if you want to keep yourself in a poor or bad financial situation, get comfortable with debt. It's not a good idea. Uh, number three, and again, many financial advisors talk about this. If you don't have an emergency fund of a month, two, three, six, whatever, you're not headed in a good direction. You got to save up some money for a rainy day in case of an emergency. So if you don't have an emergency fund, start one. And a lot of poor people, unfortunately, I shouldn't say poor, that sounds kind of bad, but financial or people that are struggling financially typically have debt and they don't have an emergency fund. Now, the next one is super important. You got to know your expenses, which sounds kind of basic. You have to know every dollar that you spend per month where it's going to, what bill, what commitment that you made to, you know, again, light bill, electric, sounds basic. But if you don't know where your money's going, not a good sign. Um, and you shouldn't have expensive habits. Like, you know, if you've, you know, got an average salary, maybe you shouldn't be going every weekend to a sporting event. That would be an expensive hobby. Uh, what's one or two more? The next one is saving money will only get you so far. Now that sounds kind of weird to say. You want to save? Yes. You want to save responsibly? Yes. But at some point you need to start investing. So you start to save, which is a good thing, but you need to turn the corner and make that money that you've saved start making money for you. That's called an investment. So if you just save and save and save and put your money in the bank, I know this sounds counterintuitive. That's not going to serve you well after 5, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years. You have to invest. And all investing means that make your money makes you money. In the description box below, I've got a passive income platform that I've been on for over a month, crypto program, 25% a month. And underneath that, the landing page for Novatech, 
two passive income platforms that I'm in. Um, and what you don't want to do, and I'll end with this because I don't know how many I've given, five or six or seven. Don't waste too long to invest. In other words, it's good to save. I, I, I just got done saying that. But after a while, you need to invest your money and make it work for you. Anyhow, does that make sense? So, it, you know, again, money habits keeping you poor. Pay yourself last. Get comfortable with debt. Not having an emergency fund. Not knowing your expenses. Having expensive hobbies are all going to keep you poor. Okay. Anyhow, Crypto Mentor 99. Thanks for being a part of my crypto family. And uh, love y'all. Bye-bye.